hello myself uh, divya mumaya i am a company secretary by profession and a board mentor uh, last 20 years industry experience and last 5 years uh, you know with this 20 years experience when i saw that uh, you know as corporate governance we are talking of good governance in big companies india has close to around 5 to 7 8000 companies which are listed and where we are talking of good governance but india has 7 crore smes and msmes which are yet to see the corporatization so i think that's where <clears throat> more and more good governance needs india to take uh, you know when they are growing i mean as a nation when we are growing good governance is going to be a pillar and that's where you know when investors are going to come mm -hmm. and they're going to look the first if most important parameter they look at is the governance so when we you know nurtured this entire idea of mentor my board we saw that you know there's there's huge gap today governance is only spoken about in the big companies so what about those small companies which really wants to grow and which really wants to uh, become big so what is the journey i mean today also uh, one of the panelists uh, spoke about that uh, there are hardly 2% of companies in india which have 25% less than shareholding so when the there are more stakeholders in the company that's where real governance starts coming in so that that's something what we have uh, you know envisioned last 5 years before and now i can see that entire uh, ecosystem what we are creating for directors for mentors and for corporates so where directors are able to nurture groom themselves the corporates are able to get trained quality directors for their boardrooms and most importantly there are huge industry mentors huge industry directors who already have rich experience and they ha they need a platform to share their experience with the uh, with the you know the directors aspiring directors and completely create the ecosystem right as uh, ma'am said uh, there are 1 lakh directors already here so uh, mm. 1 lakh directors is a vision okay the vision so uh, so many directors is here so uh, have you got a chance to interact with them or uh what was their response to the summit absolutely so uh, i think uh, we started with just an idea and today when i see uh, on the platform we have more than 2000 you know uh, logins created on every summit i mean wherever whenever we have done whether it was women directors conclave we had more than 1200 registrations so today also we have more than 300 registrations people are virtually watching it across india and more than i think 200 240 registrations are here in uh, you know and people are there at uh, nsc today so uh, i can see what you know the idea which we germinated is is taking shape today and ma'am and ma'am a little about what are the sessions that are being held today and what are the kind of discussions and uh, how do you see that particular part if you could talk about the sessions that are taking place the yes. topics and what is the kind of interest of the panelists for a little bit about on that so uh, the the idea behind creating this independent director summit is uh, transforming india with good governance and when we see the ecosystem when we see the governance independent directors are the most important pillar in the entire governance ecosystem and even regulators want independent directors to be more ready and more participative more effective when they are in the boardrooms but then there are a lot of regulatory oversights which are increasing the penalties the prosecution and that's the fear so these kind of initiatives what we are doing is creating that ecosystem where independent directors are able to learn sharpen their skills they know where to what to and how to take risks how you know to be more effective in the boardroom so digital future fit boards for, for example is one of the topic how the boardrooms are ready for the future are the boardrooms themselves digitally uh, equipped or they are still working in the traditional ways uh, at the same time the regulatory oversight for example there is one session where eminent people are from the industry are going to speak and uh, the regulatory oversight is increasing and lot of expectations of the regulators are there on the independent directors how are they able to cope up so these are some insights which are coming from the eminent uh, uh, mentors here who are on the panel uh, then there is also one more uh, kind of uh, very interesting topic on board seat to board impact so it's only having a board seat or a tick box or you're really creating a impact in the boardroom with your presence so these kind of topics brainstorming discussions will help more and more directors to be ready and take that risk of get getting into the boards and performing their duties well so you have taken the initiative for the directors who inspires you for for the this initiative especially okay so uh, i think uh, everyone has uh, the inspiration the mentors and we are guided by our advisory board which has 
eminent uh, uh, i mean mentors with us eminent advisory board so uh, nilesh bhai nilesh vikamsi is past president of ca institute he sits on himself on few boards as independent director uh, mr rajnikanth patel is there who is ex md of uh, ceo of bombay stock exchange uh, amisha vora is there uh, shridhar ramchandran uh, sanjay ji is there who is a promoter director so we have uh, you know even created our advisory board in such a way that we get all the perspectives of promoters of independent directors of you know the entire trade and industry so that's how we've uh, i mean they are our guiding stars basically hi i'm rashigan patel ex managing director and ceo of bombay stock exchange uh, i have worked in uh, banking commodity space and uh, financial services and strategic uh, advisory services uh, coming uh, to today's event which is about the regulatory oversight and uh, independent directors i think it is a very relevant uh, thing which uh, mentor my board has put in because today what re we require the commercial space requires the industry requires the country requires is growth of our economy our corporate sector and for growth compliance is necessary you can grow only when you have a compliance in your dna the, it is not that somebody ga ga government gives you a check box and you take it no that dna it has to be of the compliance into the corporate sector and today's uh, sessions and the speakers have really thrown some very good lights and insights into how we can be a compliant corporate india to make our country one of the best governed and best growing so i would say mentor my board has done excellent job of bringing a platform where we can interact we can create an independent directors which are watchdogs of a good better corporate governance okay. yeah. okay, i am sridhar ramachandran uh, advisory board member at mentor my board uh, the independent directors are playing a very important role in the indian corporates but they've just started we have a long way to go uh, companies act two terms are over for most of the independent directors and you can see at least 5000 6000 directors have to be replaced from this year onwards but these independent directors have to be trained they are not just relatives or friends who can come on the independent directors board they need to do a proper job because public money is involved if the public money is involved stakeholders are there they are asking questions social media is talking about it so it's very important for independent directors to understand their role uh not just uh, you know compliance role we need to be uh, uh working with the company's objectives and whether they can uh, really solve the issues which the stakeholders are expecting i think that is what is very very important in today's world uh, technology is uh, emerging the directors have to be understanding what technology is about esg is one of the important area how sustainable your companies are if you are not understanding these things your environment your uh, you know social angle your workers how are you dealing with the society these are very very important and i think independent directors have to gear up and mentor my board is exactly doing that for uh, that function to help the directors to get trained first of all you, you introduce yourself then we'll start perfect they'll give you a sure. few questions sure. start karenge yeah ma'am good hello everyone i am neha shah co-founder director of mentor my board we are building a community of 1 lakh directors through the platform of mentor my board thank right. you uh, ma'am uh, this is the year kis tarah ka response hai aage bhi aap logo ne submit kiya hai lekin is saal ke response ke bare mein agar baat kare thoda sa bataiye us bare mein uh, jo directors aaye hain andar aur unse kis tarah ka conversation hua aur thoda sa agar aaj ke bare mein bataye aap this is the third independent director summit that we are holding we've done past uh, two summits which were virtual this one we are doing it physical with national stock exchange as our venue partner and we are happy to invite 250 guests and delegates uh, corporates from various uh, locations pan india uh, the summit has been a wonderful experience for us to host everyone and as well to uh, for mentor my board to understand what directors need from platforms like mentor my board uh, talking about mentor my board uh, what is the motto of mentor my board uh, if you can brief us about that 
the vision of mentor my board is to create a 1 lakh directors community in the next 2 to 3 years and we are on a mission to empower 2500 women board leaders creating a pool of them so that india is not uh, any short of women leaders at the top uh, as nirmala sitaraman ji our finance minister had graced the occasion of women directors conclave in september uh, on the 16th uh this was our aim that you know we create that pool of women board leaders wherein she graced the occasion and also sh- uh, started with a program of womb that is women on management and boards and uh, how was the response from uh, directors uh, like they are, they are ready to uh, join or what do you want to say about it how was their response uh so the program of womb was mainly for women board leaders women from across india have given a very great response to the program uh, we've had participants from pan india and we are happy that we are convocating the third successful batch of womb today at this venue and uh, kiran ma'am was here how how was your experience uh, interacting with her and uh, what uh, director's response to uh, kiran ma'am and uh, how she motivated them Kiran ma'am is an epitome of uh, good governance which we all look forward to and uh, initially which she agreed to come in and join us virtually but then after we had a discussion with her she gracefully accepted and said that she would be really happy to join us physically at this venue and uh, uh, that is where you know the entire uh, event has uh, Uh, got that virality from her presence, and we are really happy to welcome her to this event of Mentor My Board. And uh, what was the uh, response of uh, directors to meeting her? Like, have she interacted with them, or uh, she? No, not yet. Okay, so uh, she gave any message to the directors or the? No, well, that's still speech. pending. Her okay. speech is still pending. Okay. And uh, uh, lastly, ma'am, uh, what is your next plan? What what uh, what you are planning? for next 5 years uh, we are we are on a mission as i said to create a community of 1 lakh directors we plan to train nurture upskill directors not only the independent ones but the promoters the startups and the entire ecosystem uh, we are here to have a community wherein uh, everyone learns nurtures and thrives together so our role as a platform as a digital tech platform which we have created has been a pivotal one wherein directors can come at one place it acts as a one stop solution for every director and would li- uh, would like to have a community wherein they interact with each other and uh, you know uh, they get those board opportunities which they are seeking because we are inviting corporates who can come in and also you know the mentors who can train them thank you ma'am